it's quite interesting you know garments even for four year old girls are more expensive than those for four year old boys it's as if uh both the parents and the girl are being messaged uh, that the girl's worth lies in her body and therefore her garments otherwise physically a 4 year old girl and a boy are much the same i mean almost the same how can there be uh, a difference so much difference in their garments and in their pricing huh? and uh, i also fail to understand how is it that uh, of course the bodies are different but not so different we simply blow up the differences it will never be intelligible to me why must girls have such long hair i understand there are differences uh, in 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 uh, in height and in build and uh, after puberty the differences uh, get amplified also all that is all right biological but why must those differences be exaggerated so much hmm? and uh, Uh, you are training her to be body centric do you see that uh, what is lip color uh, what are all those things that are gender specific how exactly do they translate into beauty these are very fundamental questions mankind should, should ask at least parents they must ask themselves these questions why must a responsible mother ever introduce lip gloss to her daughter is that not very very violent of her to introduce the daughter to lip gloss or to uh, or to costumes that are very feminine the girl hardly requires them right uh See, I'm not talking about uh, suppression of uh, sexuality, right? Let sexuality be a celebrated thing in life, and all that is okay. I'm talking of turning someone body-centered at a very young age when she does not even know what she is going through. As a mature adult, you are free to. Uh, discover your sexuality experiment with it enjoy it celebrate do whatever you want to all that should be done with wisdom when you are mature but when you are a girl and your question is how should india raise its daughters where in when you are in that phase when you are being raised uh, a very very responsible person should be hemming all this unfortunately most parents are themselves in need of uh, self knowledge and education life education so the way they treat uh, their kids especially their daughters is pretty horrible um so the way boys and girls are differentially introduced to sports and all the little cues that girls keep getting little but continuous continuous um, there are very seats at the dining table who is supposed to help with the dishes uh who supposed to go outdoors to play who supposed to have the guns and who'll have the dolls who can walk around topless even at the age of 7 or 8 right 7 or 8 the the bodies are not so different but even if the girl is 7 years of age 
and uh, she is on a beach the mother will probably ask her to not go topless and that's not about strangers prying on her even if there is nobody on the beach the mother will say oh you please cover up so all that turns the girl very body centric and uh, that plays havoc with consciousness uh, a caricature she turns out into with no appetite for anything sublime so the body becomes um, uh, a toy the body becomes a weapon and the mind becomes numb the result of all this is stupidity and then you have the caricature of the dumb blonde right <laughs>